Hi guys, Gunchimp here and welcome back to my legendary playthrough of Skyrim on the Xbox 360. Uh, pretty happy with myself, in the last episode uh, we actually cleared Embershard Mines, which I didn't think we'd be able to do this early on, uh, but we managed it. Uh, we also managed to find an Orcish Bow, which is kind of useful. And then I raided, mined and picked all the, the useful items from Embershard Mines. As you can see, um, we now have a shed load of iron ore, 29 of them in fact. Um, we also have whoops, a load of weapons and stuff that I need to sell off. An Orcish Bow, which is quite useful um, because it does 19 as a base damage. Um, and our Imperial Bow does 23, but hopefully we can improve that at the at the, the smithing station. I've also got a load of um, stuff to sell here as well. And we're pretty much on the verge of um, increasing from 12 to 13. Um, so that we can hopefully unblock Elven with the next um, experience points. But first of all, let's go. As you can see, I'm moving really slowly because I'm really, really overweight right now. Weighted down with all the, the iron ore and stuff that we picked up from the mine. But what I could do is I'll just quickly go over to the grindstone and see how we can improve this Orcish bow. Because the Imperial bow we can't really do much with. I might as well improve it. Yeah, why not? Because hopefully this will push us over the edge. Oh, actually no. That's worth more. So we'll do that. Orcish bow we can get up to 25. So that's interesting. Um, our imperial bow is at 23. Uh, so yeah, let's let's just ask the the blacksmith if he's got any. You're looking for a new. Anything we need? Protect yourself or deal some damage. Got quite a lot of gold actually. Uh, 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 uh. And what I'm actually going to do as well, um, we need arrows, so uh, we've got quite a few iron arrows, but iron arrows only do eight. And we can actually make arrows now. Uh, Orcish arrows are a bit of a nightmare. Um, but steel arrows, we just need steel ingots, and then we can bang out a few of those. So we might as well. Uh, has he got anything useful though? Hmm. Elven gauntlets. Ah, we could actually make a steel shield as well, um, because it's a lot better than our shield. We've got a um, <coughs> banded iron shield at the moment, which is 27, and the steel, um, once we improve it, will actually be worth more so first off though let's sell all the crap uh, so you can have that you can have those have that I'll keep it on tight you can have one of those both of those one of those you can have all of this oops speed is increased and is it enough to level us up yes it is perfect excellent so uh, we can now buy some more training and as we're in Riverwood, we might as well put it into archery. But does he have what we need? Yes, he does. Excellent. So we'll take one of those. And we might as well take all of these. Well, why not? <laughs> Can we sell anything else to this guy? Nip. Nope. Okay, so let's quickly improve our Orcish bow. And then what we can also do, whoops, is we'll favor it. We might as well sell our Imperial bow. Because the Imperial bow does 23 and this one does 25. So obviously we, we want to get rid of that. Uh, so, hello. Looking to protect yourself? I want to sell you a bow. If that's okay with you. There you go. You can have that. It's not worth, not worth a lot, but it's dead weight. So. Uh. Good day. And then what I will do <coughs> is quickly run over here. There's the elf, I think. We can just um, head off. Yep, there is. Can we train? Smile on you, friend. 
I'll show you what I know. Okay, you do that. Now we've already trained as much as we can, so quickly level up. Uh, I'm gonna put this one into health again. And we might as well. There we go, we've got Elwood Smithing. Alright then. Let's train. I'll show you what I know. I know you will. One, two, three. And again, we're at halfway now. And now she's at 46. We want to get it up to 50 with this guy. And then we can um, improve the... We can hand in our sword. Once we get an elven sword. And then we'll unlock Alea, the Huntress, as a... Um, I think she's a master trainer. So she can take us up to... I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's 75 or 90. Because um, like I say, Legendary is really kicking my ass. So what I think the best thing to do... Uh, I mean, at this stage, I'll be using, like I said in other episodes, I'll be working on alchemy and chanting, that kind of thing, so that we can generate cash and also um, improve the potions and stuff that we're making that we can then sell for better prices. But uh, that kind of means that we can't do anything else. And what I want to do is try and concentrate on getting involved in some combat. And that means um, improving our armor, obviously, and also our weapons. <clears throat> And to do that we need cash, but for now I'm just going to show you a quick trick. Um, we're going to chop just six pieces of firewood, um, because we bought some steel ingots, so what I'm going to do is knock out some uh, steel arrows. Which again, I am not. I can't remember if this was in the game, in the normal Skyrim game, and I just didn't notice it. Or whether it's something to do with one of the DLCs, but it is really useful. Um, because early on especially you have to keep foraging around to try and get arrows, and as our basic battle plan, to want of a better word, is to try and take out the foes at a distance, because if they get close, you know, they just damage us to hell. Um, arrows are pretty useful, and we're going to be burning through them. So for now, I'll show you how to make arrows. It's quite simple, really. You just go to the blacksmith's forge, and we're going to make steel arrows, and there you go. With uh, one firewood and one steel ingot, you can make 24 steel arrows. So, and it actually improves smithing quite a lot, so we might as well. There we go. We almost leveled up, actually. It's a shame we don't have any more. How many steel ingots does this guy have? Does he have any more? You're looking for a new blade? The finest weapons and Can I actually sell firewood to him? Never tried it, but... Hmm... No. Shame we're not in White Run because we could have banged out a few iron daggers just to tip us over the edge. Yeah. Okay, right, let's get to the Riverwood Trader and see if we can't sell off more of the crap that we've got on board. Here he is, Lucan, hello. Some may call this junk. Oh, let's call it treasures. I call them treasures. Okay, always a good idea to see if they've got anything useful. I mean, check it out. They've also got amulets of Arke, increase your health by 10 points. Uh, amulet of Mara, which restoration spells cost 10% less to cast. And now he seems to have quite a lot of enchanted stuff as well. But for now, we're not really at a place where we can start spending it on that. <clears throat> So yeah, let's see what we can sell this guy. You can have that as well. No, their potion of slow saved my life, so obviously they're really useful. Um, potion of slow, if you don't know, uh, you mix death bell with red mountain flower and salt pile, and and um, it's really really good. Uh, Fortified Marksman was also a really good thing that we used in Embishard Mines and that again is quite an easy one to make. It's um, dried elves ears, which are normally found in kitchens around Skyrim with juniper berries. Have that. that as 
well. We'll have our food. Oh, we've got quite a lot of stuff that we could maybe give to some of the farmers. Potatoes and stuff like that. Ingredients, no. Oops. <clears throat> Anything useful here? Oh, we've got a spell book we should use. So I'll learn that when I finish selling. Uh, oh, I don't know where came, that came from. As well. So that's that done. Um, so I think probably the best thing to do is um, let's get over to White Run. Hi, kid. What you, what's your story? So I'll go easy on you. So yeah, we might as well um, quick travel over to White Run, <clears throat> bang out a few knives, and hopefully it'll tip us over. To the next level so we can train a bit a little bit more okay so here we are in my favorite uh, town white run let's get over to the smelter first of all oops hello i'm gonna use the smelter right <clears throat> iron ingots let's bang out as many as we can the great thing is uh, they weigh the same as the iron ore, so it's not really a problem. It's just a case of converting them. Okay, that's that done. Oops. Let's see if she's actually got anything useful first of all. Take a look. Wow. Hmm, interesting. She suddenly decided to start stocking dwarven armor. A weapon, sorry. Orcish weapons as well. But my basic plan right now is I'm going to see if we can make. Ooh, I ain't got some smithing, but they're way too expensive. I'm going to see if we can make a steel shield. So we're probably going to need. That's it. If you can always take the ore because the smelter's just next door, so it's not. Refined Moonstone, that's interesting for Elven Armour, uh, but it's really expensive. Silver or why not? And that. Just to be on the safe side. Okay, so, <clears throat> quickly run over to Smelter again. And convert anything we can. So to the forge, and so basically what we're after, an elven bow which does 26 damage, um, but we're going to need refined moonstone for that, and an elven sword which does 13 as a base damage, um, but again we've got pretty much everything we need apart from refined moonstone, so we need three re refined moonstone, we might as well get that, I think she had 14 on her. I don't claim, take a look. It's gonna hurt us our cash flow a little bit, but it's worth it. So we need three. Oof, 669 gold, goodbye. Looks like I'll be chopping wood again soon. Um okay. <clears throat> so we need to make an elven bow. Damn. And we need a quicksilver. Does she have quicksilver? Have you met my Looking to protect yourself or deal some, deal some damage. damage? Quicksilver? No, she doesn't. Damn it. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. And so I was hoping to do is make the sword as well. Um, but unfortunately, we need a quicksilver ingot. Um, but actually, there is quite an easy place to find quicksilver. It's in Dawnstar. Uh, so we could quickly do that on the next episode. Um, also, for some reason now, I can make make bone mold armor which again I'm sure it's from another DLC because I've never come across netch leather in normal Skyrim so I'm assuming it's um, linked to either Dragonborn or or Dawnguard and there's also chitin chitin armor again never come across it in the normal game so I'm assuming this is uh, DLC it's kind of funky and also a weird 
shell bug helmet which again yeah, not really sure where that came from um, <clears throat> so yeah let's see if we can improve anything that we have armor wise more inside I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in white. I can't do this at the moment because I don't have my smithing up to 60, <clears throat> which you need to improve magical weapons, which is a bit annoying. And the bow, we can actually improve to 31 already, which I didn't know about, so that's kind of cool. And that's already surpassed our um, orcish bow, <clears throat> so we might as well sell that. Have you met my father? Looking to protect yourself? Or deal some damage. Did she have any steel on her? Weapons. Um, <clears throat> Goodbye, Orcish Belt. Let's make a steel shield if we can. Steel. Steel dagger. Steel helmet. That's heavy armor though. Um, steel sword. Steel war heart. Hang on. What are we missing? Ah, oh, we need three steel ingots. We've got two. Damn it. So you battle this back and forwards, guys. Um, bear with me. So we need one more. Until next time. Okay. So steel, shield. And let's see if I'm going to need more steel to improve it. Because <clears throat> our banded steel, iron shield, uh, is at 27, so that's at the maximum that it can go. Our steel shield can go up to 29, but again, we need another steel ingot, so. You think? Take a look. And we'll buy one. And at the same time, we might as well sell our iron shield, because we're not going to need it anymore. Goodbye. Take my lead then. Shield. Excellent. <clears throat> so straight away, um, we've already improved our offensive and defensive situation again. Um, I'll favourite that. We've got an elven bow that now does 31 damage. We've also got a load of steel arrows, which do 10, as opposed to the iron arrows, 8. We're still carrying around Vilkas' sword, though, um, because we need quicksilver. Um, steel shield as well, which just helps us protect us. Uh, Twenty nine, and um, and yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, guys. And then for the next episode, what we could do is um, we'll quickly head over to. I want to go. Sorry, mine's gone blank. Um, Ah oh, yeah, we'll go over to Dawnstar, which is just over here. We'll catch the uh, Skyrim tax service. Get over to Dawnstar. There's um, a mine there that does uh, Quicksilver. And you don't have to fight anyone. It's just open there to go in and, and mine the hell out of it. So we'll do that. And then if you want, um, we'll go over to Riften and start the Dark Brotherhood questline. Uh, mainly because once we're a member of the Dark Brotherhood, uh, we'll get a load of uh, Fortify Archery gear, which should be very useful. Alright guys, as always, um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. You know, it's been a bit of here and there, um, but we are slowly building ourselves up as a, a kick-ass character. Um, as I say, if you think if there's anything you'd like me to do or anything you think that I've missed, uh, leave me a comment in the comments section below. And I'll catch you all next time. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, take care, and peace.